Hi, welcome to this video where today I'm gonna to show you how to calculate the area of a polygon. That's not your basic square or rectangle or anything like that. Um, I'm gonna teach you exactly what the apothem is and then how we're gonna use this area formula for any polygon. So it says here that the segment connecting the center of a regular polygon to the opposite side at a right angle. That's what the apothem is. The apothem is this segment here. It's a segment connecting the center of a regular polygon to the opposite side. And however many sides there are in a regular polygon, there would be that many apothems, but of course they're all going to be equal to each other. So it's a segment from the center to an opposite side at a 90 degree angle, always. So I could have an apothem here, I can have an apothem here for this square. In this pentagon, I can have an apothem here. It would not matter. And no matter where I draw it from that center, they would all be congruent to each other. We need that apothem because here is what the area formula is. It's area equals one half times that apothem A, that's what the little a is gonna stand for, multiplied by P, and P is the perimeter of the entire polygon. So I need two numbers. I need the apothem of my figure, and I also need the perimeter. Now that may seem like, oh, I only need two numbers for whatever polygon, but sometimes calculating the area or perimeter does take quite a bit of work. So let's take a look at this first problem. Here's a nice regular pentagon with a side of 10. Now, if I look at this area formula, I might be like, oh, well, the perimeter is actually going to be really easy for this because five sides, 10 on each side, 50. So I know 50 is going to go in for P. But what about the apothem? What about this length here? So here's what ends up happening. That apothem I need to solve for. Now, the fact that it's a 90 degree angle does mean that I do have this little 90 degree triangle, this right triangle built into this figure. And if I do that, then this A is actually one of the legs of a right triangle. I bet you didn't think this is going to happen all of a sudden, right? Now, the deal is I need to figure out this A within this right triangle. And I know that this length is 10, so every side is 10. But I really need to know this angle measure. Because if I figure out this angle measure, we learned with all of our trig properties, sine, cosine, tangent, how we can find missing sides of a right triangle. So here's what's gonna happen. In order to figure out this angle, which then will lead me to figure out the apothem, I need to find this measure by using my angle sum formula for the interior angles of a polygon, which is 180 times the number of sides minus two. So there's five sides of this polygon, 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 times 180 is 540. So there's 540 degrees in all of the angles added up. It's the sum theorem. Well, if all of the angles here are um, one, uh, 540 and I divide it by all five angles, that would tell me that each interior angle of this pentagon is 108. Now, if this entire angle here is 108, but this angle, which got bisected, by this segment here, that would mean that this angle X is actually 54 degrees. So I find the sum of all of the angles, I divide it by how many angles there are, and then I divide that angle by two, I bisect it in order to figure out this angle measure. Now think about this for a moment. This is 54. Again, I still need to figure out this apothem because I need it for my formula. I know the entire side length is 10. So if the entire side length is 10 and this apothem, which does bisect that side, it would mean that this length is five. So now I know this angle, it's 54. I wanna solve for A and I have this side of my right triangle. Which trig function from the angle works with the opposite side and the adjacent side to it? Opposite and adjacent, it's tangent. So tan 54, tan of this degree, is equal to a over 5. We know, so, we know how to solve for a here. We multiply both sides by 5. That could simply plug into your calculator. Always remember, we learned this before, when you're plugging in 5 times tan 54, make sure your calculator is in degrees and not radians. And we get 6.882. So that's the length of this apothem. And of course, I rounded it to the thousandth place just to for this problem because of course we're not done. So now I need to find the area of this 
pentagon. Well, now I have my apothem. We already figure out the perimeter was 50. So now it's 1 half times the apothem times 50. Plug it into your calculator and you get 172.0. I rounded to the tenths place for my final answer, units squared. So a little bit more involved than just a regular area formula that we've done before, but we're going to do this exact same process four more times. So stay with me on this. Okay. Here we have this equilateral triangle, and I see that the side is 10. Okay. I need to know my apothem. So I need to figure out this apothem length. I need to also figure out if I was to construct a right triangle in here, which is going to help me figure out the apothem, what this angle is. So we already know how many degrees are in a triangle, but I just want to show you that formula again. It would be 180 times the number of sides minus 2. It's always minus 2. That ends up just giving us 180, but we already knew that. We already knew there was 180 degrees in a triangle. If there's 180 degrees and I divide that by three angles, then each interior angle is 60. So this entire angle is 60, and then I need to bisect it to get this little angle of 30. Now, what should ring in your head is that this actually does become a 30, 60, 90 triangle, and I can use those rules, but I'm going to stick with tangent right now. But if you could use the 30, 60, 90, which you can here, you'll totally get the same answer as me. So then I need to figure out A. I know if the entire length is 10 here, just like in my previous problem, then this little segment is 5. So tan of 30 equals A over 5, opposite over adjacent. So tan 30 equals A over 5. Um, the other method would have been the fact that this A is the length opposite the 30, and the length opposite the 30 is always half the length. I'm sorry, is um, you would divide by radical 3 because it's always that length from across the 60 degree angle. But anyway, I multiply both sides by 5, and I get my decimal 2.887. Now I can use my area formula. So it's area equals 1 half my apothem, and now my perimeter. If I see a side is 10, 10 times 3 is 30, and I end up getting 43.3 units squared. Okay, another pentagon. We already know how this pentagon is going to start. I'm going to build that right triangle. We already know the interior angle sum is 540. We already know the interior angle is 108. If I bisect that, I know this is 54. Issue is, I'm actually given the apothem. I didn't mention that before. I'm given the apothem. I just don't know what the outside perimeter is going to be because I don't have this segment here. So in order to figure out what that segment is, I'm going to call it y. I know it's tan of 54 is equal to 4, which is my opposite, over my adjacent. So this equation actually looks a little different. So it's tan 54 equals 4 over y. I know if I get this little segment, then I'm going to be able to double it to get the full side and then multiply that by 5 to get my perimeter. So I'm going to go ahead, multiply both sides by y, divide by tan 54. I end up getting 2.90, uh, 2.906. So if that's what y is, I would then need to double it to figure out the entire side. So I have my formula. I know my apothem is 4. I would take this side of 5.821, multiply it by 5 to get my perimeter of 29.06, which should make sense because look at this y value. 2.906. If I had to double it and then multiply it by 5, I'm really just taking that and multiplying it by 10. And I end up with 58.12 units squared. Okay, hexagon. So I'm going to construct that right triangle. I'm going to do my angle sum, so 180 times 6 minus 2. So there's an angle sum of the interiors of uh, 720. Divide that by 6 angles. Divide that answer in half, so this is 60. So now again, I have this 30, 60, 90 right triangle. Um, I'm going to use that here because I am given my apothem of 2 radical 3. I'm trying to figure out what this segment is so I could do just like in the previous problem, figure that out, double it, and then multiply it by 6 in this case. So in this right triangle, the apothem is 2 radical 3. I'm trying to solve for y. I know that this is 60 here, and then this obviously would need to be 30. So the nice relationship between the side opposite the 60 and the side opposite the 30 is you simply divide by radical 3. 
So if this is two radical three and I divide by radical three, then this is just two. And if this is two, then the entire side is four. So now I have my formula, one half times the apothem times the perimeter. I know my apothem is two radical three. My perimeter, if a side is four, four times six is 24. Go ahead, plug that into your calculator and you should be getting 41.6 units squared. Last one, a heck, um, an octagon. So create that right triangle, angle sum, 180 times eight minus two, which becomes 1080, divide by eight angles, which gives me an interior angle of 135, divide that by two, and I get 67.5. So this is 67.5. Now I do need to solve for the apothem. I, do, I am given a side of six, which means this little segment here is three. So tan of six, uh, 67.5 equals A over three. Multiply both sides by three, get your decimal value. If this side is six, then my perimeter is six times eight, which is 48. So I'm gonna be able to go ahead, plug my apothem in, plug in the perimeter of 48, and I get 173.9 units squared. I hope this video was helpful for you. I know it's a lot of information. Thank you so much for watching, bye.